Isaiah 43, beginning at verse 1. Right next to that big bold B right there, look at the star and the square. Tells us that there is a message there and promise. Israel will be redeemed. Israel will return to God. There will be a literal kingdom here on this earth after the rapture of the church and the tribulation of those days. Jesus will set up a kingdom. We will all, the rapture uh, saints, the redeemed of the tribulation period, and Israel, or Jacob, the, the terms are used interchangeably of the tribes of Israel. But now, thus saith the Lord, thus saith Jehovah, that created thee, that brought thee into existence, O Jacob, and he that formed thee. Notice that the Lord created and formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by my name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, Thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for their life. Brother Dake has no P there. You can go down and you can find the P. And he has the note. Twelve things God will do for Israel. Page 494 of the Old Testament, which I just happened to have marked. Page 494. We look around for that. See Brother Dake's note. Twelve things God has done regarding Israel. Isaiah 43, 1. Created them for his glory. Formed them for himself. He redeemed them. Called them by his name. Ransomed them, loved them, made them, declared things to come. And we notice the little arrow, which directs us over here. And we come up to the arrow. He saved them, showed them things to come, profaned their backsliders. given them to cures and reproaches. Now, a few of us today would deny that Israel, the Jews, have been through a lot of pain and suffering because of who they are. Right now, they're trying to take the land back away from them, and there is a curse on anybody that stands against 
Israel. We could go to the Old Testament and look that up. But I'm sure if you want to know it, you already know it. But I was talking to a young gentleman who said the kingdom was spiritual. It wasn't literal. But we are looking for a literal people entering a literal kingdom on the face of this earth because God has promised to do that very thing. He's made a prophecy of it. Not only in Isaiah 43.1, but throughout the scriptures, you can look it up. And it is a good study to look up. God bless you from Kentucky.